My name is Eric Wielander and welcome to my channel about getting the most out of your apps and gear in the Apple ecosystem. Today I'm going to show you how to track your sleep automatically by simply wearing an Apple Watch to bed with a new free app. So it's great to know how much you sleep, but having to turn something on or off when you go to bed and get up uh, can be easy to forget and just another thing to take care of in your day. But the latest version of Sleep Plus Plus from developer David Smith takes the guesswork out of that. All you have to do is wear your Apple Watch to bed and it will do the rest, analyzing the motion and activity data that your Apple Watch collects when you simply wear it and it, then Sleep Plus Plus is able to figure out when you're sleeping and when you're awake. And not only just when you're sleeping, but also how well you're sleeping. So how do you make this all happen? First, you need to download Sleep Plus Plus from the App Store. There'll be a link in the description below, um, and you can also just go and search sleep and then plus sign, plus sign in the App Store. So Sleep Plus Plus is completely free to download and use. You'll see ads when you're using the app. If you want to remove those ads and just also support the development of this app, uh, you can go into the settings and then pay $1.99 to remove those ads. Once you have the app downloaded, you can go ahead and open it on your phone and turn on the features that you want. It'll ask you for some permissions about accessing, say, your motion activity and um, you know if you want to save this data to health kit. And I like as well, the app will send you a notification in the morning and you can just turn that on in there, but then you have to allow that app to send you push notifications. So once you have that set up, um, it's also probably a good idea to just, just to double check and make sure that you have the Apple Watch app installed. So if you go into this uh, Apple Watch app on your phone and then under applications, you can see if Sleep Plus Plus is installed. If not, just flip that switch and it'll get sent over there as well. Um, the Apple Watch app allows you to manually turn on sleeping if you want to do that. So it's why not just have it all set up right away? So you're probably wondering, when do you charge your Apple Watch? If you're wearing it all day and then you're wearing it all night, how is it ever gonna recharge the battery? Well, even the earlier generation Apple Watches and certainly the, the current ones that you can get today uh, charge very quickly. So all you need to do is put the Apple Watch on your charging stand when you're getting ready in the morning and then when you're getting ready for bed night, so maybe about an hour of charging a day, 30 minutes on either end, and overall you should be fine. If you have an older watch, you might need to say charge it while you're at your desk at work during the day or something, but it sounds a lot more complicated than it is. It's really not hard to just uh, charge it during those limited times during the day and you should be just fine. Sleeping, it turns out with your Apple Watch, doesn't actually use a lot of battery. Now. That's partially because the display is not turning on. And one way you can turn that off is if you turn off or turn one way you can turn that off is using theater mode when you go to bed. So when you're on the Apple Watch's face, you swipe up from the bottom to get control center. And uh, then from there, scroll down and tap on the little theater face icon that you can see. Uh, and then from there, once that's activated, your watch will not turn on when it thinks you're raising your wrist to look at your watch. But again, theater mode's not required to use the app or anything. It's just my tip of what I like to do uh, so that I don't shine the light for my watch uh, when I'm sleeping. And so then in the morning when you wake up, you can reverse those steps to turn theater mode off. And uh, theater mode, by the way, is also really handy if you happen to be going to a theater uh, or something, uh, some kind of performing arts or movie where you are in the dark and don't want your watch to shine brightly. Uh, to turn on your watch face or activate your watch face when it's in theater mode, all you have to do is just tap the screen and it'll brighten up. So once you have everything set up and you open the iPhone app, you'll be able to see a list of the nights that uh, Sleep Plus Plus has tracked your sleep for, the times when you went to bed and got up, and then also the uh, activity you had during the night, whether you were restless or awake at different times. Um, and more analysis from there. You can also trim the night sleep if you uh, thought it was too long or something or not proper. You can go ahead and adjust it if you 
really want to. And then under the settings, you can also choose what your goal is for how long a good night's sleep is for you. You can also turn on bedtime reminder notifications to try and keep a more consistent sleep schedule. Another great thing to note about wearing an Apple Watch at night is that it makes a really great silent alarm. So when you set an alarm on the Apple Watch, if your watch is on mute, then you won't even hear the uh, alarm sound and then you'll just get the vibration on your wrist. Maybe set a backup the first few mornings, but uh, overall it's been working great for me to just wake up with my Apple Watch alarm in the mornings. Well, I sure hope this video didn't help you go to sleep. Thanks so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you're still awake. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about this app uh, or any other things about sleep tracking with iOS and Apple Watch. Subscribe to this channel for more great videos about apps and gear in the Apple ecosystem, and I'll see you in the next one.